The only cure is true hardship that can only be created by war, famine or an economy crash. A soy boy is made up of three main indigents. An easy life that has meant they have never experienced true struggle, the kind that forces you to become an adult whether you like it or not. An activity that doesn't require exercise or hard thought but still stimulates the senses. A diet that is easy to maintain. Soylent is the main ingredient because it requires no prep time, no learning adult skills such as cooking. When you combine all of these things together you will realize that a soy boy is nothing more than a fully grown child. And they will remain that way until something forces them to mature into an adult. Things didn't go so well. Be me. 15 minutes ago. Watching a nigger pound my wife while I watch masturbating. So fat. I can't walk and I'm in a wheelchair. Hear a loud bang from next door. Makes me jump. Jump up from my chair and start wobbling. Collide with my wife and the nick. We all land on the floor. I land and send first onto the nick's face. Roll off him. Shit on his face and knocked out. Me and my wife rush him to hospital. Have to bring my wife's son as well. He is taken to A&E. Comes out with an eye patch. Damaged his cornea from the crush. Have to pay his bills. Takes her son. Wife leaves me. All alone again. Fuck my life. Mommy mommy give me soy I have been a patient boy mommy mommy make it quick every last drop I must lick mommy mommy I am thirsty now I drink your milk You're my soylent cow mommy mommy I suck your feet please castrate me with your teeth mommy mommy soy me up soylent milk in every cup mommy mommy I love your ass open your cheeks give me the soylent gas Meeting with Ben Kenobi on Tatooine Goodbye Han I hope we meet again in the near future Walking out of the cantina He bumps into a kid Hey watch it kid Man grabs the kid and tells Han sorry sir, my nephew Luke Skywalker is clumsy, likes theme plays. Hushed murmurs from the crowd can be heard. That's Luke. That's Luke Skywalker. Harvard declares dairy not part of a healthy diet. What do you think of milk and other dairy products? Soya milk. Harvard president is a Jew. Hum. Be me. 18 years old weeaboo. Get message on FB from cutie pie. Says she wants to go to prom with me. Wants to go get coffee first. Drive to her house in my toy taburu. Ring doorbell. She answers door. I am standing in a full kimono. I can. Tell she is impressed with my vast cultural knowledge. I bow to her and say the customary kanichiwa. As I am about to perform the customary seppuku. I see a figure come into the doorway. It was a chat. L whip out my replica katana and yell. You aren't taking my way for today chat in attempt to slice him with my blade. Blade on replica katana isn't sharp enough to cut him. Takes it from me and breaks over knee. Go back to Japan you fucking weeaboo he yells. My face when realized he was right. I was a weeaboo. Climb on top of roof. Yell kamikaze and attempt to land on chat. Plan works. I died. We don't always march straight. Oh no, no, no. Inhales a nah, nah, nah. Get well soon, Svens. Space. Ro. Ellen. Fucking. Musk just sent a rocketman playing fucking David Bowie into space. B. Just did that. You know what? I fucking love science. We have matter and we have this thing called antimatter, which is really exciting because it's not something we can easily comprehend. I couldn't wait till those pictures of Pluto came back. I can't believe I am living in the same time frame to witness such discoveries. Be me. Redditor intellectual. Out for dinner with Rick and Morty. Order small soy milkshake and a vegan burger. Smile when I think about Dak and pounding my wife back home. Thin pasty man sits down near me. I can smell his IQ. Spittle hangs from his chin. I quiver at the sight of a Rick. Open my mouth and let loose my battle cry when does the narwhal bacon? Everyone freezes. They don't know what to say. Suppress a chuckle. What fools they are. The Rick grins. His spittle shakes with the force of a thousand suns on a cob the narwhal bacons at midnight. We have a hearty laugh and exchange usernames. Go home without eating burger. Too excited. You vote everything he's ever posted. Get 17 free internet points in return. My face when. I found it. Concrete evidence that all Rick and Morty fans are beta cuck soy boys hiding amongst us. You faggots really thought you could hide your life source inside of your shitty meme source, and nobody would notice? Haha, <laughs> wubba lubba dub dub, you phonalistic wannabe intellectuals. Have fun waiting for season 4 in your concentration camps. Tell me again why age of consent laws shouldn't be lowered or completely removed. So fat weirdos like you can't take advantage of small children. The virgin soy boy. Disgusting phytoestrogen induced acne. Face slick with grease. Soy induced effeminism causes virgin soy boy to shit himself in fear of onion men. Literally meat horse has not eaten single a raw onion in his entire life. 
not actually shoes. Soy boy feet just sink into the ground like tent pegs. The Chad Onion Man. Beautifully clear skin thanks to antioxidant rich. Quantities of test in an onion literally turn you into a testicle. Calves almost as big as swollen tumor sized legs. Only one type of footwear acceptable for stomping on virgin dreams. Let the onions into your heart. Onion man strong! I show so boys how to be strong like onion man! You cannot handle the onion... Like onion man? Start off small with spring onion! See, make you big and strong like Onion Man. Onion Man did not think this through. Onion Man, no weak like Soy Boy. Get big, strong legs like Onion Man. Or big arms or make their titties move. <laughs> Onion Man, not recommended for the faint of heart. <coughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Onion Man probably not recommend that for everyone. <sighs> oh, fuck me. The fuck am I doing with my life? If you haven't already, check out my Red Bubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?